Hi everybody, welcome to Troubles Home. I'm with Design 911 to see the progress I've made since we last caught up. Let's take a look. <music> Trouble has gone through quite the transformation and you may be looking at her and think she's gone backwards, which you wouldn't, you wouldn't be wrong. Um, she's been completely stripped down. The strip down in the end took just over 30 days and once she was then stripped, I got her sandblasted, which uncovered quite a few horror stories. Uh, the bodywork, her bodywork wasn't necessarily in as great a condition as I originally thought. Um, and as a result, she has, she has needed quite a lot of, of welding, hence the, the reason why she is now missing her front end. I knew her floor wasn't great, um, but the seals, they were kind of like non-existent. So we've had to look at replacing all of the seals, her rear wing, in particular her right rear wing and inside and out. Once again, that was all like cheese. It kind of looks like, actually you'll be able to see, it kind of looks like some kind of French lace pancake, um, which wasn't ideal. And again, same kind of story when you head to the back of the car. And you might be wondering why she's in a shade of pistachio green. I've taken this opportunity to get some protection on areas of the car that are going to get closed up. Um, because of the construction of the 356, and actually I'm pretty certain it's the same on uh, the earlier Porsches, it's, it's, it's actually quite a complex construction in how they're built. There's lots of panels that get overlaid over one another. I'm doing as much as I can to protect all of those areas on the car as possible. So we've been able to pretty much rebuild the front end of Trouble's battery box. As you can see, the, the battery box is looking much more like what it, what it should do. There are no holes. Uh, there is a floor for the battery to sit in. And her, her longitudinals, where most of the strength is in a Porsche 356, they're also well on their way to being put back. And one of the questions that I actually got a lot was how am I gonna fix the rust? I knew the process of fixing the rust, of cutting out the rusted panels and putting in new panels. Um, but obviously the, the, the question is, is where, where do you get that new panel? Unfortunately, uh, Danks, they're making lots of these panels. Uh, almost all of the panels that I have I've replaced on Trouble are Danks panels that I have sourced from Design 911. Danks um, isn't based in the UK. Design 911 is based in the UK and sourcing them through Design 911 has just been such a help. <laughs> if you were like me, unfamiliar with bodywork and saw it, it was it was quite painful to look at. Like there was a huge, the only way I can really describe it is like some kind of like canyon or crevasse through her right hand front wheel arch. And if you look at it now, I mean, it, look, it looks brand new. Um, so there's been some serious progress with the bodywork. I've been busy rebuilding her engine, which isn't yet complete, but we're, we're making some serious headway. And I don't think, I don't think there's very much left it's been quite the transformation, as you will see. Uh, and it was actually really satisfying restoring the engine because of because of the materials it's made from. I mean, it's it's an aluminium um, casing, so the crankcase, aluminium front cover, is aluminium. It, it doesn't kind of corrode or, or rot like it would if it was steel. Um, so it, it's come up really nice, and it looks shiny. Everything about it is is original. I have had to replace a few parts, so. I've actually put a big ball kit on her. She needed new pistons and barrels anyway, um, so I supply. Um, I sourced a big ball kit from Design 911, which I'm quite excited to see what kind of power output that generates. She was, she is a, a Super 90, so in theory she should have 90 horsepower. But it is the first engine I've ever rebuilt, so I'm hoping by going for the big ball kit, it will give me some kind of like, I don't know leeway so to speak of losing horsepower the horsepower i lose from my engine rebuild might be gained from the big ball kit super excited to to get the to turn the engine on for the first time and and uh put it on a dyno to see what kind of power it kicks out and over the weekend i was restoring one of trouble's car i've still got 
one more to go. That is actually the last real thing that I need to do on the engine is, is refresh the fuel system. Um, so yeah, on the weekend, just being, I restored one of the carbs, which I think has come up looking incredible. In six months time, where do I reckon trouble will be? It's a great question. Uh, I will be the first to admit the, the restoration has taken much longer than I anticipated. If, if I can have her off her dolly, back on her wheels with her running gear on, maybe not her engine in, but her running gear on, so front suspension in, steering in, uh, the gearbox and rear suspension on, I'd be pretty, pretty happy. Uh, and I think, I think it's achievable. So we'll have to see, hold me to it. <laughs>